Seth Froughton was to be a senior at Viewmont High School, a natural leader, focused on someday becoming a cougar for Coach Mendenhall. But a swimming accident at Bear Lake ended his life with unrealized dreams, and his family left to cope with the loss of their son and brother. This week, Seth's memory and his family were honored as a Thursday hero. My first experience with Seth uh, came at a, uh, a football camp, if I remember correctly, and he sought me out. I had to make sure he shook my hand, said he wanted to be a BYU Cougar, and for all the reasons that the program is following at this point. And then I spoke at a morning site at Viewmont High School, I believe, for the seminary, and he waited around after to come up and talk to me, and his coach introduced him. And I'm not sure what the description was, but something like the heart and soul of their team. And then went on, the coach went on to tell me all the positive qualities, and then he shook my hand firmly and looked me right in the eye, and, and I just felt great about who he was as a young man. He was walking upright, he was looking directly at me, and he seemed, uh, uh, as a young man that was making great choices in his life, and he was supported by peers. Teammates were there, and he was the one that they were looking to as, as uh, their leader, and uh, so I was very impressed. of our team, we're, uh, we're honored to have you here as our guest today. Uh, the running backs uh, would like to say a few things to you. On behalf of uh, the team, um, the running backs, uh, the team we had a jersey made for Seth. You know, it would have fit in great here with us to be here with uh, you know, us as one of the running backs. BYU had him in their sights. We don't know what would have come from it, but he sure was happy to be in their sights and was doing his best to um, to perform and, and show his enthusiasm for football. And it's just been wonderful to be down here and be a part of meeting the team that he wanted so much to be a part of. Thank you, guys. We're, <laughs> we're very honored. This is uh, very wonderful. They seem like one of those candidates that would come with his heart, with his soul, with his uh, complete commitment, and then we'd see how the program would develop. And he's he's a great leader. He'd been a leader on his team, um, you know, all through little leagues and everything like that. Um, was a leader of his friends. Everyone always looked up to him, followed his example. Um, I think they were all such a good group of friends because he was a well-grounded kid. He, uh, he st stuck to his principles and his beliefs, and um, he led mostly by example. Um, he didn't have to tell a lot of people what to do or what not to do, but people would look to him as an example, and whatever he was gonna, whatever he was gonna do, other people would want to do as well. I, I just want to add that on one of our visits down after we heard Coach Mendenhall's talk about this flag, this banner, my son said to me that that singly would probably be the most determining thing in wanting to play at BYU was to be able to sign this after hearing that talk. <laughs> One, two, three, go! go Thank you. I played with Glenn Red, a hard-nosed defender who was an anchor of the famous Miracle Bowl team. He had a heart and drive which carried him on for five seasons in the NFL. Last week, Glenn lost his battle to cancer. As we leave you this week, the entire football team pays tribute to Glenn and his family, another Thursday hero. God be with you till we meet again. By his counsel's guide uphold you With his sheep securely fold you God be with you till we meet again Till we meet, till we meet Till we meet at Jesus' feet Till we meet